That's one of the criticisms people use to say you shouldn't use ChatGPT. What's the alternative? You're going to go on YouTube and get your health information from Liver King? Brian Johnson put out this post on Twitter about, I got my microplastics down from 1,400 or was six or nine. I'm like, dude, I was at one and I didn't do anything. You don't have to be this nut job to get your microplastics down low. You're going to be better off going to ChatGPT than you are getting it from social media. You get a blood test. Maybe you get an MRI. You throw it all in ChatGPT and you say, tell me what this means. It wasn't very good two years ago. It's really good today. I certainly have seen many, many cases now of people who did have that basically changed the entire equation. If you catch osteoporosis and osteopenia early, there's a lot you can do about it. You really can detect pre-diabetes or even pre-pre-diabetes. You can detect early metabolic dysfunction, microstrokes, things like that in the brain. Somebody might not even know they have this problem. It's easy to fix if you catch it early. Well, that's an example where I think can have life-changing impact, except for those people who say vitamin D doesn't matter. Well, you should shut the up. The pharmaceutical companies are just ripping off the American public. It has done a whole lot of harm in terms of it has held back advances in biomedicine. I think the healthcare system has to change, but it's not gonna change quickly. Or if it does change quickly, it's because of a catastrophic economic implosion of the entire system where we just start to see hospital systems fail.